Hi guys, so I'm here with a different kind of video today. Um, I'm super, super excited because for years I have been hoping and wishing that American Girl would come out with an 80s doll in their historical doll line. And today is the day she has arrived. Um, I just decided to do this video on a whim because I could not contain my excitement. Um, so we started hearing rumors about a year ago that there was going to be an 80s girl. At the time it was just rumors, no one knew if it was really true. And then I would say maybe about six months ago we finally got the confirmation that it was happening. And we didn't know too much about her until I guess it was around the time that the toy fair was happening, which was probably in March. So actually it was probably more than six months ago we got the confirmation. And then it really was like fully confirmed at the, um, I don't know what it was called. It's like the toy fair or something. It was something that happened in New York. Um, and they, I believe America, it was American Girl or somewhere it was released there was like a picture that was like a, a silhouette of her and people started speculating what they thought she was going to look like um, because a lot of um, a lot of us adult collectors are f born for were, were born in the 80s sorry um, 70s or 80s and um, you know a lot of moms now you know they were from the 80s so we were all excited about it we were all kind of like putting our thoughts out there like what we might you know expect from this character and um i think a lot of us were hoping for a girl of color a lot of us were thinking whitney houston kind of feel uh we thought that would be really cool because Let's put it this way. American Girl, you know, they do offer some diversity with their dolls. I mean, they've got Asian dolls. They've got um, Hispanic dolls. They have African American dolls. And they have a Native American doll. They do have some diversity in there. But overall, when it comes to historicals and Girl of the Years, they don't have very many girls of color or dolls of color, I should say. So a lot of us were hoping for that. Um, and then a few months ago, there was a leaked photo that someone apparently um, saw the, the new girl being sold on Marketplace that this person had got her early and was selling her on Marketplace. And this person was gonna was considering buying it, but she wasn't sure if it was real. Um, like she wasn't sure about the authenticity of it. And when she posted the pictures that she found on Marketplace, the doll was still in the box. And it did show this specific logo of Courtney 1986. Um, and it did show a picture of her similar to this, uh, on the box. But a lot of people were like, looking at her in the box with her hairnet on and stuff, everyone was like, this looks like Mary Ellen with blue eyes and slightly more curly hair. Because Mary Ellen, um, she has curls, but they're more like big, loose curls, not so much the tight curl. But she's got pretty much the same bangs and her hair is kind of like a strawberry blonde, whereas this looks a little more golden blonde. Um, but overall, like everyone's going, this really looks like Mary Ellen. It was, they were using the same classic face mold. And so people are kind of like, maybe someone just made this doll and is pretending that it's Courtney. Um, cause we did have her name at that point. We did know her name was going to be Courtney, but no one knew what she was going to look like. 
So everyone was like, what the heck? You know, I hope this isn't what she looks like. And then a few weeks ago, more photos started leaking. Um, and then a few days ago, people somehow found her page on the American Girl website with like a backdoor link somehow. And more photos leaked. And sure enough, that was the real doll. And once we started seeing photos of her, we were like, you know... Yes, she's similar to Mary Ellen, but she's also a little different. Um, she's not completely identical. But a lot of people started speculating that maybe Mary Ellen is her mom because they look so alike. And Mary Ellen's from the 50s, which I absolutely love the 50s. I still love Mary Ellen. I would never get rid of Mary Ellen. She was given to me by my dear friend Angela. So she means even more to me for that reason. Um, so she's staying in my collection and I love the poodle skirts and all that stuff. Um, but people were like, you know, that would work out that Mary Ellen was born in the fifties or was in the fifties. So she could be Courtney's mom. Now, then some leaks came out, um, with the book, uh, showing like excerpts from the book and then it was confirmed that no, her mom's name is not uh, Mary Ellen. Um, I forget what her mom's name is, but it's not Mary Ellen. Um, so everyone was like, man, you know, American Girl sort of dropped the ball with that because they really could have done that. They could have gone that way and had Mary Ellen be her mom. And it would sort of excuse the fact that they look so similar. Um, but they didn't go that route, so everyone was kind of like, okay, well, whatever. Um, but pretty much, you know, everyone that grew up in the 80s is like, regardless, we're getting her. You know, like, even before we knew what she looked like, people were just saying, I don't care what she looks like, I'm getting her because she's an 80s girl. Um, so, you know, the hype was building up for a few days. Today she was finally released. And I am so excited. So what they did for her release is on, I forget what the name of the show is. I think it's something that comes on after the Today Show. Um, these two ladies, Honda and something, I, or Hoda and something. I forget the name of the show. I don't have cable, so I don't watch these, these things. But um, you can actually watch the video of it on um youtube and i'll link it in the description of this video for you guys if you want to go and watch it they had the go-go's come on to do the announcement and they sang we got the beat and man guys the go-go's still have it they're still rocking uh i love the go-go's i love belinda carlisle um some of my favorite songs are from belinda carlisle as a soloist but i also liked the go-go's um, I, I was just rocking out listening to them and man, they still got it and they're all in their sixties now. And I was like, yeah, they were just rocking out on their instruments and they, they still got it. And it just got me even more hyped for it. And I actually got a little emotional too. Cause like just the nostalgia of all of this, like, I just can't believe this is happening. Like, it's so cool. So I got a little misty eyed, but I was rocking out. And then like, I, I've been singing, we got the beat for the rest of the afternoon. I'm just so excited. Um, now also prior to her release, we noticed that her year is 1986 and American girl tends to usually have the years of their historical girls end in a four, like Mary Ellen is 1954, and then you have um, Melody is 1964, things like that. Now, they do have the odd one that doesn't end in a four, but overall, they s tend to stick to, like, the four um, at the end of the year. So everyone was kind of like, why is she 86 and not 84? Well, cool thing is, the very first American Girl dolls came out in 86. So everyone was like, that's probably one reason that they chose it, because that's when American Girl was born. 
as well as that's the year um, that the Challenger happened. If you guys, if any of you lived in the 80s, you you probably know what the Challenger is. If you didn't, basically there was this um, rocket that was going to be going to space, the space shuttle called the Challenger. And it was a really big deal because there was the very, there, for the first time, there was going to be a teacher going to space. And she, you know, was on board and the rocket launch was televised and everyone was watching it. And I still remember to this day watching it. And as the rocket took off, it exploded and killed everyone on board. It was, I, I will never forget that image. I think I was about, well, let's see, this was 86. I was born in 81. I was about five years old, I guess, five or six, somewhere around there. Um, and I very vividly remember seeing it on TV. Um, and my neighbor had come over to watch because they didn't have TV and they came over to our place to watch and we were all watching it together when it happened. And it was just, it was devastating. It was horrible. Um, and so usually they try to put some major historical event in their stories, um, like Nenea. Um, I don't, I haven't read Nenea's story, but my understanding is there's a family member of hers that was at Pearl Harbor. So they always try to have some sort of historical event and they are going to be discussing the Challenger. Um, there's a picture of her classroom with the TV that show and they, they, the teachers written on the blackboard about the Challenger launch. They're getting ready to watch it in school. I know a lot of students were in school at that time watching the launch. Um, so it was a big, it was a big thing. And yeah, it just, it, I, I will never forget that. So, and I, I know that in the little bit of the book that I read online, um, it was the scene where the kids were talking about the challenger coming up. So it will be in her story. Um, so it'll be interesting to read about that. Um, now the other thing I wanted to talk about before we dive into looking at her collection is she also has a music video and I watched the music video. Um, a few, someone leaked it again. They found a backdoor link somehow and it was leaked a few days before her release. I think it was leaked on Friday and I watched it and I was flipping out. I was like, this is so, it's a really corny song. The lyrics are very corny, but they're also very eighties. They talk like they say, like her teacher's rad, um, you know, all the eighties lingo. And it kind of just gives you a little basis of what her story is about and what she likes and all of that in the song. So the lyrics are very, very corny. The song is very corny. But it's also very 80s. Um, it's very reminiscent of 80s cartoon theme songs. I would say like a cross between like Rainbow Bright and My Little Pony, that kind of thing. They really got the music on par. Um, the background music is 80s all the way. And I was just laughing hysterically at the video to the point that I started crying. I was laughing so hard just because of how corny it was, but also how cool it was in that there was just so much nostalgia in the, the video and it just got me hyped for the whole thing. And after that, I was like telling Alex all about it. I actually showed him the music video and he was just like rolling his eyes. He's like, this is so dumb. But, um, I told him all about it. I, I showed him like all the stuff in her collection. I'm like, I need all of this. And he was just laughing. Um, he knows I'm going to get it all. <laughs> So, um, I, I just, I'm ecstatic. I'm excited. Um, I am an eighties girl at heart. I've always loved all things eighties and I'm just super, super excited. I do have to say one thing I'm not excited about is the fact that they're considering her as part of their historical doll line. That makes me feel really, really old. <laughs> It makes me feel so old. 
Okay, so without further ado, I've already talked enough giving you sort of the intro to Courtney. Let's dive into her collection. I'm so excited about this, guys. I, ah, I just love it so much. Okay, so the first thing is you can, there's all these different ways that you can purchase her and her collection. Um, it's a little confusing to look at on the website. It took me a while to realize how they had this done, what they're doing with it. Um, I'm not a fan of the layout of the website right now with this because uh, it it is confusing. So I'm going to try to walk you guys through what I figured out with it. Now, the first thing that I want to mention that I really love that they've done with her collection is the majority of her outfits are mix and match. Uh, so you have to buy, you buy all the pieces individually. So you can buy whichever ones you want and you can mix and match them. There's no set outfit. And I think that's very accurate to the 80s and that like you could mix and match so many different things to get so many different looks. So I thought that that was really a good idea. I think the only outfit they have that's like an actual full outfit is her pajamas if I'm not mistaken but let's go through it so first you can buy the bundle of the doll book and her accessories for 140 um, her accessories on their own are $30 and as you can see here the doll that comes with the book like all the American Girl dolls come with their book is $110 so let's have a, a quick look at the doll up close. So exciting. Here she is. So she's got blonde, permed, curly hair. She's got the pink hair scrunchie. Um, I think where they sort of missed, missed the mark a little bit is with her bangs. And a lot of people are agreeing on this. Um, her bangs need to be more poofy. Um, Looking back at school photos, um, most girls either had just the, um, the straight across bangs or like the straight across sort of curled under bangs, or they had like poofy bangs. And especially going more towards 86, um, poofy bangs. So her bangs are not very poofy because again, it, they pretty much copied Mary Ellen's bangs. Like, I don't know why, but that's kind of where they missed the mark a little bit. Um, she's got, let's have a close up. Here's the back of her hair. And as you can see, she has, I don't know if this is a two piece or if it's like, looks like a two piece, but it's a one piece. So it's got like a purple tank. And then there's a blue crop top over it and it says totally cool. And she's got these pink, bright pink tights and little white boots that kind of have that wrinkled look to them on the bottom, like, um, almost like slouch socks. She's got her pink hair scrunchie and she's got her acid wash, um, denim skirt. And here's a close up of her shirt. Totally cool. Love it. Um, let's look at her Pac-Man game because I'm so excited about this. Um, look at this, guys. It's a working game. And it has a USB cable so that you can recharge the battery. Now, right now, it's on pre-order, so it won't be coming out till October 2nd. And it is $150. Well, $149.99. A little crazy. Um, although I think it's about the same price as Julie's pinball machine. Sorry, guys, just taking a little drink there. Um, I believe it's it's the same price as Julie's pinball machine, which is a working pinball machine, and I'm I was so tempted to get it, but out of the two, I want the Pac-Man machine. And let's read this description because I love the way they, they write it. 
Courtney loves going to the arcade with her friends to play video games, and Pac-Man is one of her favorites. This gnarly arcade game has a working joystick and buttons, plays just like the real thing from the 80s with authentic arcade sounds, multiple levels, ghosts, and fruit, has a built-in rechargeable battery, no quarters needed. So it can't be shipped outside the U.S. or Canada, and shipping to Canada is only via ground, which is kind of crappy. Um, and there's no rush shipping. So I'm excited about that. Let's look at her. So now you can also get her ultimate collection, which is a $250. And so what you get with it is her Care Bear pajama set, her Care Bear sleep, sleeping bag, her accessories, the doll, the book, um, her t-shirt and tank top set, uh, cardigan, legging set, and her Pac-Man lunch set, which let's have a look at them close up. So here's her accessory set. So she comes with a Walkman, headphones, a cassette tape, and a cassette player. She's got chapstick um, on a you know, necklace thing. She's got her bangled bracelets and a pin that says, I think it's Maureen for mayor. So her mom's, her mom is Maureen and she's running for mayor. And I'm wondering, can we zoom in on this? Usually you can zoom in. It won't let us zoom in. Maybe on the other page. Um, I absolutely love her lunchbox, her Pac-Man lunchbox. I had a lunchbox just like this that was pink with Care Bears. It's that good old plastic lunchbox that comes with the plastic thermos. You've got cheese puffs, apples, sandwich, and a cake, I believe. It's, uh, let's see, cheese balls and a brownie. It's a brownie. So um, now the thing is right now, there's nothing on the website showing this as something you can purchase separately. So a lot of people were thinking that you could only get this by purchasing her ultimate collection. But I'm going to show you, I did find a weird link somewhere where you can purchase this individually. And I believe it's $30. Now, unfortunately, for some reason, it won't ship to Canada. It says it won't ship to Canada. I'm going to find that link at some point and I'll show you guys. Um, so yeah, they do have the matching pajamas. So they have the Care Bear pajama. It's a Care Bear nightgown for girls and doll size as well, which is really cool. Um, here is her bed. Her bed is $225. Probably won't be getting the bed because I, I don't have the space for it and I don't really have a use for it. Although what I really would love to have is her see-through telephone. And a lot of us are very, very disappointed that we cannot buy her telephone separately. It has to be with the bed set um, as well as the Pac-Man pillow. So here's a close up. Look at this see through phone. Totally 80s. Oh, the posters, the wallpaper. I, I just look at that phone, guys. Oh, I wish they sold it separately. I really wish they did. And then you've got some hangers on the end of the bed, and you have a little shelf. It's a bunk bed style. Super cute. Um, what else? So here's a close up of the pajamas. And so the pajamas just for Courtney is $28. So it comes with the hair scrunchie, the Care Bears nightgown, and the Care Bear slouch socks. Super cute, little fuzzy socks. Um, let's see. We've got. So this is showing you the mega mix and match. So as I said, all the pieces can be mixed and matched. And this is where it gets confusing because what they've done is they've put together the mix and match pieces to show you what kind of outfits you can accomplish using the mix and match pieces, as you can see here. 
Um, but, and then they have these weird price ranges. And that's because they're saying that if you were to buy all of the things you see in this picture, it would come up to $118. Um, but if you were to buy them individually and only get a few, they start at $16 for the mix and match items. So, you know, if you click on it, it's going to show you all the itemized things. See, so it's going to show you here's her high tops, the, the fanny pack and all these things. So you know, you can choose to purchase them separately or together, whatever. I think they all cost the same regardless. But this is just basically to give you ideas of the outfits that you can create. And they look awesome. Totally awesome. <laughs> so here's another one. Like, I love the bow. I love the dress. Um... So yeah, I mean, these just show you ideas um, of the outfits and I hope you guys can see them okay. I don't want to make this video super long and click on every single one. Um, I'm excited about these uh, fingerless gloves, I guess they are, the lace gloves. Those come with her fashion accessories. See those? Oh, that is so Madonna. So Madonna. And I love her caboodle. Look at her caboodle, guys. You've got hair scrunchies. That's where you get the hair bow. She's got a can of hairspray. Because you know, the 80s was all about the hairspray. Um, <laughs> she's got a pick. She's got a caboodle. Hello. I love this. I love this so much. I'm just geeking out over all of this so here you know like you've got the suspender skirt with this shirt or you can mix this shirt with the acid wash jeans and the fanny pack um you've got like her cardigan with the skirt or you could put the skirt with the jacket the flats i mean it's so cool so let's look at the items individually so um here are her high top sneakers. And why is it not loading? Okay, let's go back. It could be that the site is a little overwhelmed. Because <laughs> all the 80s babies are looking at the stuff. Okay, so here's her high top sneakers, $16. Here is her pla uh, splatter print dress 18 and her denim jacket i had a denim jacket very similar to that and that is 18 now unfortunately like american girl had a denim jacket recently come out uh although it was i guess a little more of a modern style denim jacket than this one um but i already have like two denim jackets. I have a maple-y one and then I have the last one AG put out. I may end up selling a couple, one or two of, I might end up selling both or one and keeping the other because um, one is a darker denim and this is the lighter acid wash sort of denim. Um, and then her cardigan, I love this. Love that. That's 18. And then you've got her acid wash jeans. Now, for some reason, I don't ever recall seeing this style of jean. Um, comment below if you remember this. I know I personally never owned jeans that were like this. Um, but they're really cute. $16. I absolutely love the suspender skirt. Really cute. $16. And then you've got... Um, Oh, look. Oh, they finally do have the Pac-Man set separately because it wasn't on there when I was looking on my phone. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, we'll get into that in a second. I wonder if they just added it. Maybe things were still loading when I looked because I looked pretty early in the release. Okay, so this is her sleepover accessory set and I'm loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. So this set comes with a boom box. 
and you could and some cassette tapes you can actually put the cassette tapes in there um it's got fruit punch tortilla chips it's got um they call it in the description a cootie catcher i don't personally recall i've my friends and i used to make these we called them fortune tellers we never called them cootie catchers that's a new term to me i don't know if it was a u.s thing maybe um we never called it that we called it a fortune teller and we would make it and we would write inside of it we would write like future predictions whether it be like you will marry uh jordan from you kids on the block or you know we would even make these in the 90s too so we would be like you will marry jtt or you will marry nick carter um you will have x amount of kids uh you know you will become famous or i don't know like we'd put stupid predictions for our future in there and yeah that was just it was a game we'd play at every sleepover party um so here's you know the whole thing so the sleepover accessories i guess maybe i don't know does it come with the sleeping bag no i think it's just these items so it says courtney and her best friend sarah have weekly sleepovers at each other's houses wow weekly sleepovers must be nice um sleepovers were like maybe a couple of times a year for me actually in the 80s i don't think i ever had sleepovers in the 80s um i think i was a little too young for that i didn't really have I don't think I had a sleepover party until maybe 1990, 91, somewhere around there. So I never had a sleepover in the, in the eighties actually. Um, so anyways, it says they eat snacks, watch rented movies, make cootie catchers, listen to music, make mixtapes. <laughs> Remember mixtapes guys? and have dance parties so you get the multicolored boom box it plays radio sounds and it can really play songs on courtney's cassette tapes you get four cassette tapes that each cassette tape has two original songs and they really play in the boom box so i don't think it's going to be actual songs we know from the 80s unfortunately because they probably couldn't get the copyright for those so they made their own songs so it's sort of similar to when they had tenny and you could put these little cartridges in her guitar or her banjo and she would play songs that she wrote in it so it would be original songs it sounds similar to that four cassette tape cases with handwritten mixtape notes two fruit punch cans with straws bowl of tortilla chips that she and sarah can snack on a foldable cootie catcher that helps you choose a hairstyle um a friendship book where courtney can draw pictures and write notes and a pretend pen and that is fifty dollars i am in love with that um then we have her caboodle which also includes her hair accessories and that's 36 so we get to see it a little more close up here looks like it has nail stickers oh my gosh do you guys remember these hair clips do you remember those i remember those so this has a um so okay so courtney and her stepsister tina sometimes fight over hair supplies so for christmas they each got a case to keep things separate and keep the peace so this is a pink and teal caboodles beauty case with storage trays that slide out um you've got white hair pick blue and pink hair ties for her ponytail styles i love how they call them hair ties and not hair scrunchies like they really should call them hair scrunchies because that's what they are um 
for her ponytail styles. Green plastic banana clip. That's what they were called. I was trying to remember what they were called. Banana clip. Really works to hold her hair back. Pink lace bow for adding to ponytails and other do's. Pretend makeup that has eyeshadow and blush colors. Tiny applicator brush. Four sheets of nail stickers with graphics to decorate her fingers and toenails. So that is her caboodle, which I said was 36. Now let's dive into her accessories a little closer up. Although I think we pretty much well saw them before on the other page. Here they are. Um, oh, it does actually say lip smackers on it. I was wondering if it did. It's actually lip smackers. Now, what I wanted to see does... The cassette tapes do play a song. So you get the cassette tape player. Um, it opens to insert a tape. There's the headphones that plug into the player. They call it a cassette player. It was it was called a Walkman, guys. Um, cassette tape that really plays original songs when inserted. Oh, okay, so... They won't play in the Walkman, but they'll play in the boombox. So I guess the cassettes that come with this set, there's one cassette. So the cassette that comes with it will also play in her boombox. I see. So that's cool. You get like an extra original song on this or songs. I guess there's probably two. So that's a lot of songs. They I think there's four in the other set and one in here. So that's five total. So that's like 10 songs, 10 original songs they had to record. So then there's a case to store the mixtape, four different colored bangle bracelets, tube of pretend lip smackers. So they had to get the rights to that too. And the button that's for her mom. And let's try to quickly finish this up. Let's look at the Pac-Man set because I wasn't finding this. And actually, I thought that I saw that it was 30, but it's actually 25. Look at the cheese puffs. This is so cool. <laughs> oh, I have to get. See, it says cannot ship to Canada. Why? Why, American girl? All the other stuff will ship to Canada. Why not this? I don't understand. Well, good thing I have my dear friend Nicole in the U.S. She can get it for me and send it to me. Um, <laughs> then she has her school supplies right here. Okay, so who remembers these pencil cases that had all these little buttons? Like you would press the button and it would open it up. It was like a little box. So with this, you get the binder. Now, people were disappointed that this wasn't a trapper keeper. Um, it's a, actually a binder. So it holds papers and folders. Two folders with pictures of a rainbow and a dolphin that clip inside the binder and hold papers. 20 sheets of lined paper. Um, she writes stories about crystal stars sh star shooter the video game hero that she invents for a class project you get puffy stickers hello you can't have the 80s without puffy stickers oh yeah to decorate the binder you've got the pink pencil box that opens to hold pencils pencils and erasers there's a pretend sharpener on the front that's right it always had the built-in sharpener on the pencil case and you got pretend pencils and animal erasers that actually fit on the end of the pencils. Guys, they have really hit it out of the park with all the details. And then, of course, as I said, American Girl was born in 86. So they have a Pleasant Company, the original Pleasant Company um, mini molly doll she was one of the original american girl dolls and it's got her book it's got the old style box and the old catalog probably from that year 
they probably reproduced that year's catalog, the original one. And that's 30. And then here are her flats and socks that are $12. Not a bad price. And then her sunglasses are 10, I believe. Yeah, 10. And then you've got her fashion accessories, which it's really cool. She comes with earrings or you, well, this set comes with earrings. So I guess I wonder how they're going to do it. So I wonder if you, cause she doesn't come with pierced ears as far as I can tell. So I guess maybe if you get her ears pierced, you get this set. Cause we, they've had it before where you get a set of earrings for $16, but this includes also a hair scrunchie, a hair bow and the lace gloves. So that's not bad for $16. Um, I'm just wondering if that's the set you'll, you'll have to purchase and then they'll pierce her ears with these particular earrings. I don't know. She has guys, she has a fanny pack. She has a fanny pack. Look at that. Now they call it a belt bag, which is weird. It's a fanny pack and a swatch watch for $16. And then you can get her shirts. So you've got, this is like a two layer tank top look and then a t-shirt and that's $16 for the two of them. And then another $16 for this pair of leggings. You've got those uh, purple lace ones and the blue. And then this button-up collared shirt with the tie. Someone said this reminds them of Saved by the Bell. That's 16 as you can see. And then $12 for the cropped jacket, which has like those puffed sleeves. Totally 80s. Not a bad price, $12 for that. And then here is her sleeping bag set. And it's 36, which again, I don't think is a bad price considering it's Care Bears merch. It comes with a little Care Bear, bedtime bear, and the sleeping bag and pillow. And then her book is called Courtney Changes the Game. So if you just wanted to buy the book on its own, it's $7.99. But if you buy the doll, the doll comes with the book. And then you can make a donation to Girls Who Code. So really cool. Um, they have a read along series on the website with her author. I apologize for that beeping. My mom's trying to call me. She always tries to call me when I'm filming videos for some reason. I don't know why it always works out that way. <laughs> and it's funny cause I was thinking of calling her earlier too. We read each other's minds. Um, so this is the author. Her name is Kellen Hertz and there's like her reading you can watch that on the website. And then here's her music video. It's super cute, guys. I say come to the website, watch her music video, or I will link to her music video because I'm sure it's on YouTube at this point um, on their YouTube channel page. Um, if it is, I'll link to it in the description of this video along with um, what was what else was I going to link? her music video and something else. I can't remember what it was. I'll have to watch back this video and see what it was that I was supposed to link, but I'll link to those. Check the links in the description below. Um, I am so excited. Yeah, this is where I had originally found the link. Oh no, not to her. No, that was, I found her somewhere in here was where I found her lunch set was here because when I originally looked on her page, I didn't actually see the link up in here. So they must have just fixed that and added it in because I did not see this here the first time I looked. I was looking on my phone, but it was basically the same thing here. Um, so this is how I found the Pac-Man set, but it's now there. It's, it's totally there. Totally rad activities and games coming soon. So anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up this video. It's about to cut off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing the new girl, Courtney, with me. Um, I am in love with everything. Look at this look. Look at this. 
But yeah, I just, I love that they show, see her earrings. I love the style of her, like with her hair up. Um, again, with the, with the sleepover. I, I just, I love it. And here, oh, this is the picture I was telling you guys about. So this is where the challenger, with the challenger there um, at school. Yeah. Ja January 28th, 1986. So I was, I was four years old, actually, not five. Because I was born in 81. Oh, no. Yeah, I was four because my birthday is in December. So I was four and I still remember it. I remember seeing it. That's crazy to me that I actually still remember that. Um, I was four and I, I vividly remember where I was when I saw that. We were in our living room and like I said, our neighbor was there. And we were watching it on the TV. And I'll, I'll never forget when I saw the explosion. And, like, because I was four, I didn't fully understand what was happening or, or what I was seeing. And But my mom and my neighbor's reaction told me that something was very wrong. And then... You know, soon enough, I, you know, they explained what happened and I realized what happened and it was very sad. Like, I was like, wow, uh, you know, we literally just saw people die on TV. Um, very, very sad. But anyways, um, so that's Courtney and, um, I'm just so excited about it. So Go check the links in the description below. Um, I know what I'm going to be linking. I just remembered. I'm going to link the Go-Go's performance. Um, that they sang We Got the Beat. I've been singing it all day since they performed. Um, like I said, I got a little teary-eyed watching them perform because it just brought me right back to my childhood. It was, it was just like... I was so excited. And I've just been dancing around and singing it all day. We Got the Beat. Um, and they, they sounded amazing considering that they're all in their sixties. So I was impressed. Go check it out in the description below. Check out the Courtney's music video. It's corny. It's silly, but it's so eighties. And if you are a fan of the eighties, you're going to love it. You're just going to laugh at it and you're going to love it. And it's, it'll get stuck in your head. I'm just going to forewarn you. It will get stuck in your head. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time. Bye.